Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're gonna to be comparing Photoshop Touch versus Photoshop CC. So we will be comparing two different platforms, PC versus mobile. So what's the big difference between the two, and can you get away with it using your phone? So make sure you watch the whole video to find out. Okay, so to compare between the two, I decided to make the same composite on both platforms and compare the results. For the composite, I will be editing this picture of a penguin and we'll see how it goes. So let's start with the PC and then we're gonna move to mobile. So here's the photo loaded on Photoshop. With the pen tool, we will be selecting all of his body parts. Once they're selected, we will be filling them out with any color. Now we need to apply textures. So I have this penguin fur texture and I'm gonna apply it to the layer below. With warp, I'm gonna warp the texture to make it look more fitting. And I'm gonna do this with every other shape. So I did some color grading to match the original photo. For the eye, I have this random bird eye. To make it fit in more, I'm gonna use the eraser with the grass brush. This should give the illusion that the fur is interfering with the eye. Uh, that's enough. I will be using the same eraser brush for the texture and uh, that should get rid of the hard edges, which eventually gonna make it look like a fur. For the beak, I have this real beak and I'm gonna just cut it and put it to place and of course with warp we can warp it however we want for the penguin legs I have real legs and just like the beak we're gonna cut it and put it to place for the shadows I'm gonna be using an adjustment layer and then I'm gonna darken the image once I'm satisfied I'm gonna clip it to the penguin which means the adjustment will only happen to the penguin and then I'm gonna invert it and using a brush we can create some realistic shadows and we want to do the same thing for the background because we don't want the penguin to look like as if he's floating we want him to look as if he's standing on the ground and the shadows will help to sell the illusion we're also gonna be applying some color grading and here is the result so you may be noticing something that I did to the penguin right here that I didn't show on the screen record and that's the highlights. I added some highlights, but the thing is, I forgot to record it, so I apologize for that. But just like the shadows, you can add some highlights, and that's gonna make it look realistic. But anyways, the photo came out looking pretty good. Now, let's see if we can do the same thing on mobile. Alright, so now we are on a different platform. We are on Photoshop Touch for mobile. And I also have the same penguin and the same textures and props that we used for PC. And we are going to be doing the same thing here and see the results. And right away, the first thing you'll notice is that I'm not going to be using the pen tool because Photoshop Touch does not have the pen tool, which can get very tricky, especially on rounded corners. But we still have the good old polygon. Pyologen, polygon? Polygon. So we're gonna use that to select and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm done and it doesn't look very pleasant on the rounded corners. I told you it's not as smooth as the pen tool, but we can still work with this. So let's move on to the textures. Another thing that is missing on Photoshop Touch is the clipping masks which is the option that allows you to only make a layer show on a specific area and that is very comfortable to work with. Here on Photoshop Touch we don't have that so what we have to do is to put a layer or the texture above whatever we want and then we're gonna warp it just like this and then I'm gonna go back to the shape layer and then I'm gonna make a selection from this shape and go back to the texture and then extract the texture from the selection and this is how we have to do it we don't have clipping masks so this is all we have to do it's a little bit of work but we can't do anything else so I did the same thing for the belly and then now I think we should move to the beak Again, using the pyologen pie, you know, forget it. We're gonna select the beak and <laughs> extract it. Then we're gonna put it in position and use the warp to warp it into place. And just like earlier, we're gonna get the penguin uh, feet and we're gonna select them and put them to place, just like the beak. And just like we did on PC, we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're gonna go to the eraser, and believe it or not, Photoshop Touch also has brushes. So we're gonna go to the grass brush, 
which is fairly similar to the uh, fur brush so we're gonna take this and then we're gonna brush the edges of the fur texture which is gonna get rid of the hard edges and it's gonna make it look more like a fur uh, so yeah let's do that so now we have to do the uh, shadows and the highlights and again we don't have any clipping mess which is gonna be very hard but the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna get a uh, I just forgot we don't even have the uh, adjustment layers so we have to use paint so we're gonna use a black paint for the shadows and a white paint for the highlights so I'm gonna go ahead and draw where the shadow should be and then I'm gonna do the same thing with uh, that I did earlier so I'm gonna select the uh, fur and just extract the shadows Alright, I mean, that doesn't look bad, so yeah, let's do the same thing for the highlights and uh, cross fingers is gonna work. I mean, um, that, that, that doesn't look bad at all. I'm very surprised that the highlights worked because with the black you can get away with it, which is the shadows, but the white paint for the highlights, I can't believe that worked, but yeah, we, we, we kind of get away with it. Alright, so now let's do a, the background shadows, which uh, again, the, the penguin is looking like he's flying in the air, and the background shadows should make him look like as if he's standing on the ground, which is exactly what we want. With that done, here's the final result. Now, keep in mind, Photoshop Touch doesn't have the camera roll filter, so we can't do very advanced color grading so I had to upload the photo to Lightroom and mess around with the colors and here's the final result and it doesn't look bad at all it actually looks pretty decent it's usable for whatever you want to use it alright so for the final conclusion we will have to compare the two photos from the mobile and the PC and we will see the difference now right away you can see these photos are pretty damn similar now if you present these two photos to an average consumer or an average user they really wouldn't know the difference between the two because I mean I'm I've been a graphic designer for a long time and I'm pretty sure you guys can relate but you can tell that there is something wrong with the photo that was made on mobile now it looks pretty fine but if you zoom in you can see things are not very smooth now the reason is first thing let's start with the brush for Photoshop touch the brush wasn't very good to work with so the edges came out looking very bad on PC the brush that I used is actually a brush that I made I made that brush and that's the beauty about Photoshop on PC you can even make your own brushes second thing the absence of clipping masks on Photoshop touch made it very hard to work with especially for the shadows and the highlights and if you like zoom in and like concentrate on the highlights and the shadows you can tell the PC one is far more superior because it's much smoother because of the brush and also much uh, accurate because of the clipping mask. Okay, so um, let's just take a step back and not go too hard on this app because there is literally nothing like it on mobile. Maybe you can get some apps, but this app is quite literally legendary. This app is the app that allowed me to become a graphic designer. I transferred my knowledge from this app to PC and I'm pretty sure you guys did the same thing for the people that are using PC right now that used to watch me back in the day. We all grew up using this app and it's uh, it's pretty phenomenal that you can do something like this just using your phone. And now the conclusion. Can you get away with using Photoshop touch on your mobile can you make a good composite I think the answer is very obvious but yes you can make a good composite on your phone and uh, here is the proof I made pretty much a really good composite for a phone and if you compare it to the PC there is really not that much of a difference and I'm also pretty sure that I could have worked much better on mobile on this composite but uh, it can get very tiring considering there is no um, clipping masks and you can't make your own brushes. But the most important part is it still gets the job done which is very important. You know what? I really enjoyed making today's video and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and like and comment down below what you want to see. And also be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you are new to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.